All right, good afternoon. I'm Swampy, and yes, I'm a brick. Uh, today, you probably um, you used to see me playing Rust. Today, we are checking out the beehives, which is also something I do. Uh, so, let's start from the beginning. Smoker does not make the bees sleepy or drowsy or anything. What it does is causes a um, defense response. They think there might be a fire in the area, so they're going to start going to gather up honey resources, which keeps them busy and stops them trying to sting my face off. And we give them a little bit of cool smoke in there, a little bit in there, a little in the top there. And so all this is, this is just to make them a uh, little, little less active towards me. Don't get my gloves on because I'm about to crack this open. They're not going to be overly fond of this. Uh, what I'm doing is a quick maintenance check up here. Unfortunately, we lost the queen on this hive here. Uh, this was the main hive for the year. And I took a split to get this one started, and unfortunately we lost the queen here. She could have um, died to a predator, disease, the rest of the bees may have just been annoyed with her, whatever. Uh, they decided, um, so yeah, we lost the queen. Um, this hive is going strong, I'm going to have to check and see the conditions inside, see if I can take another split to requeen this hive. Um, I did take one a couple of weeks ago, I'm going to be checking to see if that took or not, but I don't think it did. Um, we'll find out shortly though. All right, so we have gloves, a smoker, grab myself a tool, come up, one J hook, beautiful. Brush, J hook, get in there. I'm checking for primarily is to see if uh, my queen is laying eggs where she's supposed to be laying them and in uh, substantial quantities. I want to make sure that she can keep up with the workforce. Alright girls, sorry I'm coming in. Now I put an expansion on here last week, some of it is filled out, some of it is not. top box probably doesn't have a lot going on in here yet. I'm hoping there will at least be a little sign of life in here. About this world. I do see some hive beetles in there actually, which means I'm going to have to get some traps set for them. Oh yeah, there's like half a dozen hive beetles here. Those. Hive beetles are unfortunately a parasite that can get into a beehive. Uh, if there's enough bees in there, they can rifle most of them out and keep them under controls. Uh, control, but because we're kind of repopulating this hive, they're apparently struggling a little with the, uh, the hive beetles. That's fine. They'll catch up with that. Have a look at the box underneath. The box underneath is the one that will be really telling. That's where all the brood's at, where the queen is most likely uh, set up. Put this down here for a moment. All right, girlies, coming in. Sorry. Trying to do this whilst causing as little damage to the hive as possible, especially in these middle frames, this is where I most like to find my queen, it's very important, so I'm careful around her, I don't <coughs> want to end up with two hives without queens, my smoker's going a little berserk there today, there you go, there's a nice uh, heavy brood frame, Have a look, where are you at queenie? She has lots of food stores. Oh, there are some uh, grubs in there. But why are you all not moving up the box? Huh? I've just got to go through a few of these frames, see if I can figure out where the queen is at. Come on, don't just squish anyone. Here you go. Oh, shit, actually, I need to grab my queen cage because I want to separate her once I find her. cage when I need it. 
stay there. No, stay somewhere. Go there. Uh, pop out a dead frame. Shift everything else around a bit more. Come on, get out of there. Yeah, it's a new frame in there. They haven't started building honeycomb on it yet. They will do shortly. But for now, I can use it to pop myself a bit of extra space to shuffle things around. See if I can find where my queen's at. Oh, that has a frame full of honey. Ooh, looking good, girls. of brood in there that's nice gonna have lots of new bees hatching out of this frame soon I would come and show you but unfortunately it's a little chilly so I don't want to take him out of the hive for more than a couple of seconds at a time whilst I check but you can you can see there's plenty of bees in there doing their funky thing lots of brood where the hell's my queen at today Saying, well, how the fuck would you know anyway? Lots of these little spicy boys, or spicy gals, floating around. Queen is in there somewhere, but she does look different from the rest of them. Uh, she's slightly... Oh, there she is! Hey! Hey, girly! Queen, if I can get the queen, queen clip. Come on, sweetie. Put these back in here. Sorry, girls. All right. Oh, so there we have one of the regular little spicy girls. There we look. And then here we have the queen. It's kind of hard to see. She's a longer, larger. Um, you see the girls there. The um, Worker girls, their wings are at least as long as their body. With the queen, her body is way longer than the um, uh, than her body is, and she's never really going to have to fly anywhere. She's going to live inside the hive, make babies, all the important things that queen bee does. But I know she's in there. She's strong. She's doing what she's got to do. So I'm going to get these frames back in, get the hive put back together. Get it sealed back up again. Get all this space back together. In you go, girly. Sorry. There you go. She's back into a hive. She's happy. Cools out the way. Back in there. Cap back on. Lid. Oh. So that hive is looking awesome. So I'm a little behind on uh, where I'd like it to be because we had to restart. But considering the restart, the queen's looking good, she's got lots of brood, and this hive is going to make us lots of honey before too long. Let's have a quick look and see how we're looking on time wise. We've got eight minutes. Oh, we've still got 20 minutes left. Okay. A little bit of smoke. Queen clip tall. Let's get into this next one, see how we're looking in here. A bit of smoke. Alright, go look after your honey girls. But yeah, when you've been doing this as long as I have, it's, you know, a lot of people go, how the hell can you tell the difference between a regular bee and a queen bee? You learn very fast. Queen bee stands out from the rest a good amount. Right, I'm pretty sure they're not up into the flow hive yet. Um, this hive is slightly different from that one. This one has automatic honey collection frames in here. Uh, the way these work is um, there is a basically a keyhole on the back side of the frame over here. I can put a special key in there, crank it, and honey will flow out of the pipes. Come on, get... Ugh. Things get jammed in here sometimes. Bees like to stick everything down. 
they don't like where something is, they'll uh, find some way to let you know that they want it moved. Or they'll stick it where they want it to be. Alright. Are we putting any honey in these frames yet? No. Perhaps they've got hive beetles. I'll have to get hive beetle traps set up. Get out of there. Again, hive beetles aren't normally too much of an issue once your population's high and strong. Bees will find them and they'll kick them out. Uh, but at the moment, because we're kind of in recovery after last year's winter losses and then trying to requeen, the girls are not quite up to full fighting force. But that's okay. We can fix that first. Get this separated out. Come down here for a minute. Ugh. Little smoky smoky, go pick up your honey girls. Keep out of my way. Thank you. Ugh. Do I have any dead frames in here I can move? No, because they're already building up the sides, damn it. Let's have a look and see if we've got anything that vaguely looks like a queen in here. Do I need one queen cell? This one is all bee bread, unfortunately. Um, I'm not sure there's no queen in there. I'll give you a quick look. Get it back in the hive, girls. Uh, so this frame is one where they're storing food. Let's see if we can get you a good picture. All those yellow and oranges, that is pollen. And then there's also honey mix in there. Uh, known as bee bread, because that is essentially their primary diet. The uh, uh, nectar they gather, which is then turned into honey, is their sugar, their energy supply, and then the pollen is their protein supply. Alright girls, coming in. I'm going to try and figure out where the hell the queen cells are. As I say, we lost our queen, so I added some eggs from the other hive there. And what bees will do is if they don't have a queen, if they have eggs young enough, they will then convert those eggs into a queen cell and uh, they'll generate themselves a new queen, but they do need an egg to work with. I'm not sure if we've got any in here, so I'm going to check a couple of more of these top frames and I'm going to get into the bottom frame. That'll be the one that will really tell me if I've got a queen in here or not. And if I don't, That'll be my project for next week, trying to get a fresh queen in. Oh shit, didn't mean to squish you, girly. Sorry. A couple of dead girls, oops. We've got lots of honey and pollen in here. But I'm not seeing any eggs in this box, so we're going to move down to the next one and have a look and see what's in there. Chill out, girls. Check for eggs. I'm fine. We have we have lava. We have eggies. It means we've got a queen in here, which is the most important thing that I was looking for. And I don't need to see her. I don't want to mess with this hive too much because it's not particularly strong at the moment. But come on, girls. I need you out of the way just for a moment. Need to check that those lava are good. Yeah. All right. So it looks like we've got a queen. That's awesome. This one will fill up pretty rapidly. Let's get all this back together. Sorry, girls. I know. I know. I'm fucking you around. All right. On the 
top there. I'm actually I'm gonna since they're still filling up this top box, and I know they kind of had a little bit of a, an issue getting started. Come on, girls, get you back into the other hive. Leave this box off the top, and it'll encourage them to work more on filling out these other ones. If I tap this just here, they'll sit there and move back into the main hive. In the meantime, let's get this one back together and sealed off so they can start reheating it. Woo. There we go, and that is a very quick little wellness checkup on the beehives. I tend to try and get in and out as quick as I can. Normally I like it to be much warmer when I'm out here because um, the brood's very dependent on temperature control. Um, normally I like it to be at least 75 if not 80 degrees out. Unfortunately, the weather has not been particularly cooperative recently. So, I opted for a quick flash inspection instead. If I come unhooked over there, mm. that's good. I'm inside. It was just a quick wellness checkup. I didn't have a lot I needed to check up on, so I knew I could figure out what I needed with a uh, with a quick inspection. So we've confirmed Queen in that hive is good. She is going strong. The replacement hive I've created for this uh, hive is doing very well. Looks like she's just started laying in the last few days. Hives are locked. Get my stuff popped out. And yeah. So hopefully we'll be pulling some honey harvest out soon. There's Swampy signing off after eco raiding a couple of 30,000 strong clans all carrying neurotoxin spears. Have fun, I shall see y'all another day.